Well, there's, there's putting your pet first, which we all do here on this program. Petco <laughs> becomes the only major retailer of pet supplies to ensure healthy food for your furry family members. In a first on Fox Business announcement, the company is revealing it will not sell foods or treats containing artificial colors, flavors, and preservatives for dogs and cats by May of 2019. Joining us right now is the CEO of Petco, Ron Coughlin, and it's good to see you, Ron. It's great to be Thank here. Thank you so much for joining us. I was telling you during the commercial break, I only used to serve Ella Bella steamed string beans as treats and she died at almost 18 years old she lived a long and strong life as a result you know it's amazing over 50 percent of pet owners cook for their pets we were talking about it only 50 percent over 50 percent oh yeah no i always week. used to catch once a week yeah. and we're bringing human grade food actually into petco shortly so tell us about what you're doing yeah so the big announcement today is uh that we're going to be eliminating all cat and dog foods and treats with artificial flavors artificial colors artificial preservatives um, you know if you think about the pet we love do we want ethanol to be served to them do we want sulfur dioxide do we want benzyl I can't even see benzyl hydolide so the answer is no and those are in other. most pet foods those are in certain pet foods now the reality is Petco has been weaning off those products other companies have much higher uh, percent of those foods dig in Charlie and Ramon don't eat those right uh, no, they eat a, a food she that you can buy. She told me what she serves. They, can eat, they eat a food that you can't buy at Petco. They eat yeah. a blue, blue, blue buffalo basic, limited ingredient, yeah. grain-free uh, wow. canned food, and also ID, which we is prescription, and you're going to be um, begin to sell prescription dog food. That's right. Well. This week we started doing prescription dog food uh, on Petco.com. So big, big response from, from uh, customers? Yeah, we've seen a great response thus far, but today, today's our announcement day, so we're, we're very proud of it. It's a big deal for the industry. And that's a higher premium that people will pay, right? It's amazing to me how much money people spend on their dogs and, and their cats. Anything. Both my dogs have gastro, uh -huh. severe gastrointestinal problems. So anything to keep them healthy. But you're gonna. You were talking about. You're gonna actually start selling cooked food, literally human food for animals. That's right. So humanization is one of the biggest trends, folks like you, but it's, you don't always have time. So what we're going to do is work, partner with a company called Just Food for Dogs, and we actually are going to have kitchens. Union Square right here is going to have a kitchen where we cook for your dog. You can come in and get fresh food uh, every day for your dog. My dog right now is having salmon and sweet potatoes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and, uh, Lucky dog. So if you're having salmon and sweet potatoes, your, your pet should have it. And does this make a difference in the dog's life? Absolutely. It's yeah. all vet, um, vet driven uh, mixtures. You can't feed them too much, though, because they'll get fat. <laughs> yeah, that's And that's true. a huge right. problem that's is true. obesity in animals. Ron, real quick, yep. we're talking about the Petco Foundation, maybe a little bit on that. Uh, that's right. So we're very proud of the Petco Foundation, especially in times of hurricanes, fires, et cetera. We go in, we take care of the pets, we give free food, we give funding oh, to the shelters. Thanks so much, Ron. So that's fantastic. Great. Check out Petco. Ron Coughlin, thank you for joining us.